coming out of its two-and-a-half-year orbiter maintenance down period. Okay, and we'll give you one, three, two for that. One, three, two. Okay. Our tape will actually begin out at the plant at Palmdale, California. And here we see Columbia in the work stands at Palmdale. The uh, modifications out there included about 133 modifications and upgrades. This is uh, on the flight deck where we see the old analog cockpit uh, dials and gauges have been removed in exchange for the new glass cockpit. This is uh, on the aft. Backing away now from Palmdale, taxiing out to the runway for the departure for the flight to Florida. And this is a video en route. And now Columbia is at Kennedy Space Center, landing gear being lowered. The 747 in the background. This uh, was uh, in March 2001 as it returned to KSC. It's now in this uh, image in OPF Bay 3. And uh, there was a window inspection going on there that we saw. And uh, now some of the astronauts here doing the uh, crew equipment interface test. They're checking out some of the tools that uh, will be in the payload bay that will be used by the astronauts during their spacewalks. Astronauts there actually in the payload bay looking at the restraints and the uh, areas that the tools are stowed. This is the final engine going into Columbia. This is uh, engine number three. We can see the uh, plumbing inside the orbiter in the main engine compartment. And the engine is being put into position in preparation for closeouts. This now is the uh, pushback out of the hangar out of OPF Bay 3, the uh, rollover, which occurred earlier this year on January the 16th. And uh, Columbia was rolled the brief quarter mile over to the vehicle assembly building in preparation for mating to the external tank and solid rocket boosters. It's OPF Bay 3 where Columbia spent uh, almost a year. Columbia now entering the transfer aisle on the north end of the vehicle assembly building. That's the lifting sling that will be attached. Columbia is on the orbiter transporter. And this is rollout. Going out to the launch pad on January the 28th. Crawler there moving along the 3.2 miles out to pad 39A at about eight-tenths of a mile an hour. Columbia now approaching the ramp and the computerized leveling system on the crawler transporter will keep Columbia level as it goes up the incline. Total time from the uh, big time rollout began until it arrived at pad 39A and was hard down was just over six hours. And the 
there's the uh, orbiter access arm that will be uh, rotated in position once Columbia is firmly hard down on the launcher pedestals. Now live out at uh, pad 39A where Columbia 